Hello YouTube. Just thought I'd make a quick video, uh, an update on uh, what was going on with the situation on the paperwork on this van I'm trying to acquire. Uh, it's kind of stalled. I filed a lien against it to try to get title to it. Um, sent off the uh, registered letters to the various um, parties of interest. Uh, last known registered owner I got that information by filing with the DMV to start with and somebody come up on there I didn't even know existed but anyways I basically there's uh, three parties involved and uh, I got some of the paperwork back already um, the last person that had it is a person I know and she's not interested in it. of course so there's no problems there but anyways uh, to make a long story short uh, it stalled because DMV said that I'm not registered with the state of California as an auto mechanic and so I'm not qualified to <laughs> file a lien under those reasons uh, basically I looks like I filled the paperwork out wrong and I put the the value I had to value the van I put the value in the wrong slot under repairs and so I'll have to straighten that out we'll see where that goes uh, hopefully that's just a minor snag but I wanted to make uh, a video just to keep the channel updated uh, because I've had some views on this and you know people like to follow what's going on so that's basically why uh, I'm making this brief video I thought I'd talk a little bit about why I like vans so much um, and what reignited my interest in them um, years ago I had a Dodge panel van this was a 1968 and had a slant six in it um, and I used it for my my business uh, I was in the livestock business so I pulled a horse treader with it all over the western United States mainly in the ostrich and emu business and it was a pretty good rig it had a heavy duty four bolt main slant six in it that I rebuilt and I'm kind of sorry I got rid of it but there came a time when I didn't need it anymore and so I was without a van for quite a while and then uh, I got this one here at work I'll show it to you I work for a school district and they had to decommission a bunch of their passenger vans uh, because of new California regulations and this one was given to our department I work in the maintenance uh, janitorial department and it's an older rig and nobody wanted it of course it wasn't in this good a shape but uh, we have a really good mechanic and he really appreciates the older vehicles and he took this thing home it was all beat up and rusted and he painted it and put uh, <laughs> stencils on the side and he gave it to our department and uh, I wound up with it and so uh, I have it kind of set up uh, with my tools in it I have in the back I have it set up with my tools for maintenance for HVAC things like that uh, and then I have some of my cleaning tools and supplies in it too. I work the night shift and or swing shift I should say and anyways at the school we were being hit with people coming in after hours and stealing gas uh, stealing other things breaking into the vehicles um, and the sad part about it is they just didn't use siphon hoses they crawl underneath and cut all the hoses and stuff so that happened to this vehicle I lost a a um, air compressor not air compressor but a uh, airless paint sprayer and a generator out of here that was set up because we were using it at the time to paint football lines on the football fields and paint buildings anyways make a long story short uh, the school told me that I could take this one back and forth home I live three miles away for security reasons that way we wouldn't have to unload it every night so I've been able to set it up for work and it's pretty cool um, I keep my cleaning supplies uh, and everything in these tubs um, and I, my toolboxes and tools and stuff are also in the tubs but it's just uh, it's just nice to have everything organized and when I need to haul things that are longer uh, extension ladders and stuff I can get a extension ladder in here all the way up to the to the cab and just works out really nice they even uh, I even picked up a buddy heater in there I don't need it but but they bought one because we were without uh, power for a few days and 
and uh, we thought we'd try one in the classrooms and it didn't work out but anyways so I just thought I'd show you that uh, why I like vans this thing has um, also had a brand new uh, 350 stabbed in it so that was an issue too just putting around to school it wasn't getting used enough broke in so anyways I just thought I'd show this rig I really like this rig um, and it's what got me started looking for bands again uh, talking with my parents and seeing the video uh, Wrangler Star uh, I just want to talk a little bit too about my channel um, I'm subscribed to a lot of uh, various individuals who um, are inspiring me uh, and I post uh, I like some of their videos I don't like I mean I like all their videos but I actually like them on the channel so you can see some of them that I think are pretty impressive and um, I really like the, I call them the Chris Brothers. They're not related, but it's Chris Travels and, and Dan, I'm not the Chris Brothers, the Travel Brothers, it's Dan Travels and Chris Travels. And uh, I kind of would like to do some of the things that they do. But anyways, I just thought I'd make this update. Um, I don't know if you noticed, but I've been really careful not to show the license plate on this vehicle. Not that it really makes any difference, but uh, anonymity is important when you got uh, people like Mort Gage running around. <laughs> Anyways, I'll catch you later. Thanks again.